Welcome. This is Tampa Home Talk. Another Friday, another exciting two hours we have lined up, I promise you, especially as we lean into fall. You feeling that crisp air out there, Leo? Oh, it's always crisp air when I'm here in the studio. No, well, yeah, besides that, you know, I know, I always know when fall is starting to kick in. The dog walks are more pleasurable in the evenings? Well, actually, sadly, I have not been doing that. I know you're an evening dog walker. I was a morning dog walker, but I can tell you that... Basically, it's like I, I have this routine where I like to sit on my patio and have my morning coffee. And it's like sometimes I'm sitting out there and it's so hot. I need to just, I'm like, okay, all right, a few more minutes and I'm going and it's getting hot, it's getting hot, it's getting hot. So lately, it's been that crisp, like, oh my gosh, it's not so hot. <laughs> so it's been awesome to spend a few extra minutes on hey, my patio in the morning. Guys. Let me tell you guys what's hot. I'm going to real estate school. You are. I'm a realtor, yes, because I can sell a house without any work at all. Yeah. You know, I'll just go to my class, and as soon as I get my first listing, it'll be sold in two days. I'll make a big commission, and I'll go on to my next house, and I'm going to be rich. That's exactly how it works. How'd you know, Pat? Is this what he learned in Dallas? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. So let's chat about the numbers this morning. What you know, talking about things being hot, and a uh, little bit of an uptick this week in new listings. So last week we were at six eighty six, and this week we're at seven oh nine. Seven oh nine. So those numbers are ticking up just a smidge, which is good. So let me let me just shed some light on Patrick's statement here. So there are thirty thousand list realtors in this tri county area. Of the 30,000... At least 30, probably a little more. Yeah, so of these 30,000 real estate agents, 709 of them got a listing. Yeah, and that's how many there are to sell. To sell. 709 single-family homes in three counties. 709 times 1.5, so 1,063 divided by 30,000 times 100. So only 3% of the people with a real estate license have the potential to see any money this week from and, real estate. And honestly, that's about right. 3% of the agents sell 80% of the business, right? That's just the the Pareto's principle. Principle yeah. is 20% of no, This is the 3%. People do, yeah, but you know, theoretically all things including uh mobile homes, condos, villas, townhomes. I would fight for 20%. This is 3%. This is 17% lower yeah. than that. So if you're a real estate agent listening to this, sorry to depress you, you are to, if you are involved in a real estate transaction this week, you are the top three percent of all realtors in the exciting area of the Tri County, Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Can Pasco. And, and so here's the thing: when you look at this and you look at how fast stuff is selling, most agents are like, "Oh, I'm excited! I got a commission." For me, when I look at that, I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! My seller is going to get the most amount of money in their pocket than they probably ever will for a long time." So for me, that's the excitement factor. It's not, woohoo, I sold another house, you know? And I see you've got your balloons up on the wall. Is that? Uh... We, that's our little bit of a faded promotion from like a month ago. Because, you know, we were out of the studio for, and the office for about a month. So people would just show up here and pop a balloon, white if you're sold, blue if you're list? No, no, no. That was for my team. So they yeah. basically, we would, we'll do different promotions at different times. So some of them is if they set an appointment. Some of them is if they get a referral. Some of them as if a client leaves a review. So we'll change it up from one month to the next. So back to my 3% thing here. Yeah. For a second. So 3% of the real estate agents in this Tri-County area were involved in a transaction this week. So how many of those were you? We sold stuff this week. Seven? We, but uh, sadly, we have one listing on the market. It's $1.5 million. This is the only one we have. We have four coming. So we'll have four on the market by next week, which probably won't make it to Friday. So you were... 0.7% of all real estate transactions last week. Yes. We they um they divide stuff up in the like North Florida region, South Florida region. So we're always for I'm always like usually top three, nor always top five in the office for agents in our particular office. But in the region, I'm always usually in the top ten, 
if not 15. Are you telling me that as soon as I get my license, I'm not going to have any houses to sell? Well, there's 709 of them as of this morning to choose from and uh, sell. I mean, theoretically, Pat, and if we play with 3.5% of all real estate agents getting a transaction in any given week, um, over the course of 33 weeks, which is a little over half a year, you could get one transaction. And by the way, you're going to need about 1500 bucks just to get started. After you oh, pass the well, exam. I have that. Oh, I have that. I borrowed that. Okay. Yeah, you borrowed yeah, that. You so, you good. so if we're just running raw statistics, you get a license six and a half, no, seven and a half months later, you will do your first transaction. Most real estate agents sell less than four homes a year, less than. And we, I'll give you a prime example. One of our buyer's agents, she had her license for a year at the office, a full year, did not sell one home. Was that due to lack of uh, of referrals, lack of knowledge? Well, lack of, where it was lack of Katrina. Or lack of, where, where do you start, right? Like lack of Katrina is a mean, good start. Well, uh, She consistently sells three homes a month. When I start, when I sold Cutco knives in college, you start with your family and friends and then yeah. build it out from there, right? I guess you could, but here's what I was telling Pat before I got here this morning. Sure, you can go get a real estate license. Absolutely. The barrier to entry is probably lower than it should be. But on the flip side to that, if you go get your real estate license, you're now selling probably someone's biggest asset. So let's just imagine for a moment that's your best friend, right? You're selling, your best friend has trusted you with their real estate transaction. Probably their biggest asset they're going to be selling, right? Or purchasing. Or purchasing. And let's just say for a moment that you actually botch up that transaction in some way or another. Chances are, well, you need a mentor, right? Yeah, or let's say that it gets worse, right? Like, mm -hmm. let's say you didn't know what you didn't know, and now somebody on the other side is suing everyone involved in the transaction. Ooh, yay. For, you know, innocently non-disclosure. I mean, that could happen very easily. Mm. There's a thousand things that could happen very easily, right, Leo? I mean, look at all the stuff you see in, in home inspections. I mean, I, can, I was telling Pat this morning, we have a listener that has been listening to me for at least three years on his way to work all the time. Finally retired, and now we're selling his home, mm. getting it ready. So there's a value that I bring when I come because I have 30 years experience. So first thing, and not that I'm a Leo or anything because I'm not, mm -hmm. but when you've been to tens of hundreds of home inspections, you know what's going to get yeah. called out, right? Yeah. So I see a Challenger panel, Leo, and I'm Ooh. like, oh, the age of the home, very good chance there's cloth wiring, but I don't know that because I'm not ripping down the walls. So there's all these little things that I'm like, yeah, that roof, like I can see curling shingles from the street. Not giving them home inspection advice. You know, I'm saying let's call the roofer, but I already know what the roofer is going to say. So there's a value that that brings. And so while it's painful now, right, to organize all these things and get everything ready, they don't even have the contacts to facilitate that, let alone everything mm. to get it ready. So what's going to happen is if it's a brand new agent, they're going to throw it on the market. And then, and then the buyer is going to do their home inspection with somebody like Leo, and <sighs> and that home inspection is going to be about seventy pages. Yeah, at least with a Challenger panel and roof leaks and, and like gonna all, about yeah. thirty thousand dollars worth of yeah. fixes. And you then know, the insurance. You know. In summation, <laughs> speaking of insurance, in summation, instead of your real estate license, go get your insurance license. Come work for me. Much, uh, much, know. much, much, much more stable. But what? listen, here's listen. You guys said there were seven hundred and some homes. Mm -hmm. Yes, seven hundred nine. Yes, but because of the new insurance flood rates that are coming, <laughs> there's going to be seven thousand homes soon. Yeah, I don't think everybody see, sells us because they can't afford. I don't think there'll be that many, but we are going to talk about that because I sent Leo yes. a real live Adam. example. Yeah, uh, Leo. Gosh, I'm Leo's, looking, Le Leo's I'm over looking here. right <laughs> at Adam saying Leo. I sent. I sent it's Adam the beard, Adam. Life. It's the beard. It is. I just did. Let me get this coffee down. Okay. No. So literally, I sent Adam yesterday this um, house, and I said, "Hey, this is my listing. I have it signed, so it's not yet on mm -hmm. the market." And I said, "Let's go ahead and run an insurance quote on this one because this will be a fun one. I know to, to oh, check." I have another one for you too when it comes to that. That's so that's a good example. We're going to talk about that this morning, but let's go ahead and get through the number. So, seven hundred nine listings to choose from if you're looking for a single family home in three counties, and if you're a new agent, let's see how that. I'd love to hear how that first negotiation went for you, and if you got the deal accepted. And let's talk about sold listings. So. 
Last week there was 859, and this week there's a whopping 1,200 homes that moved in a seven-day period. That makes sense. 1,200 homes. And everyone's trying to beat the October 1st new regulations effective date. Well, as they got their insurance bound, I think they'll be okay. It's, but. it's the when the renewals start rolling out over the next couple of, I mean. So our pending's still higher than the number of new listings. So 709 in the last week. The number of pending home sales, 1,071. So still more selling and pending than we have coming on the market. But we are seeing that number start to creep up. And it'll be interesting to see how these things progress as people continue to move to the area and as these insurance changes are underway which we're going to talk about a little bit more when we come back and when we do leo is going to give you your inspection tip of the week this is tampa home talk we'll give you our author number as soon as we come back <laughs> Tampa Home Talk. We're at 813-377-2775. That's 813-377-2775 for all your real estate answering and question needs for all your insurance <laughs> and if you, desires if, if you really, and all your home inspection yeah. for, for all the if disparaging you, really uh, home, you shouldn't get your real estate license. Uh, <laughs> listen, I encourage you. you. If you love real estate, you know, I would highly encourage you to check it out. Just work under somebody like me that can get you started on the right foot and actually show you how to make it a career and not a part-time so job. So question for you, you know, making it a career, not a part-time job, or what if you want it to be like your little side project? Do you need a real estate license to buy your own home? No, not your home personally. But if you're going to facilitate a transaction or represent Between anyone else, other you people. do. Yes. Okay. Yep. Just like, I mean, you think about forest all by owners. They don't need a real estate license to sell their own home. Mm. And I would need, I need a real estate agent to go buy their home. Yeah, you would theoretically. Not. Yeah, you could, but you yeah. wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to do you that. Probably want an attorney involved in the transaction. Here's I mean, what we, here's what we say about one. about for sale by owners, and it's Fisbo. It, we call them. Fisbo. Yeah, this Fisbo. is not. Un, it's not untrue. So when you think about it, the buyer does not pay the real estate commission. So you can have a buyer's agent work with you. Mm -hmm. They will show you properties, explain the whole process to you, write your contract, negotiate your deal, organize your inspections, do everything that has to happen to get that to the finish line. Right, land right. up your insurance, everything, right. and basically only in the end when that happens do they get paid right the buyer's agent so why would you you're buying your biggest asset why mm -hmm. would you not want someone to help you when it doesn't cost you anything True. so when you think about a for sale by owner why would a buyer want to work with a for sale by owner when they can work with a buyer's agent that's going to help them through the transaction for one they're not even looking at your home they're looking where all the homes are which right. is the multiple listing service or the third party sites right it's where that's where they're looking and they're not all there but they're definitely in the mls and so the biggest things we see with for sale by owners and this is what i tell the buyers there's usually three reasons why a for sale by owner is a for sale by owner number one it's price a lot of times they're mm -hmm. they're overpriced from what an agent tells them they can actually get for their home and they're like oh no, no no i can get that price anyway and not pay a commission right that's their thought the second reason is they don't want to disclose something so if they work with an agent like me we're going to make them complete a seller's disclosure statement we're going to make sure everything that's known about that property is disclosed to the buyer that sinkhole that they filled in themselves with concrete you yeah know? <laughs> you, you'd be surprised with that unpermitted pool in the backyard yep <laughs> <laughs> and then when you think about the negotiations and everything that goes into that, I mean, if your real estate agent is super strong and it's somebody like me, every single penny I'm paid is, for, is worth it just with the negotiations, not including the staging, the setup, and what you actually get at the end. 813-377-2775. 813-377-2775. Yeah. So I've had people that were for sale by owners. I don't solicit them, but I've had people that come to me. And I had one that... Uh, for example, tried to sell through Zillow offers, right? So they just went to Zillow to get an instant offer, got an offer, and then it's a very strategic game they play. We know the rules, right? Mm -hmm. 